the recommendations it provides. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, since 2013, 220 parliamentarians and 450 members of their staff have received mindfulness training here in Parliament. Our cross-party group has produced this report, Mindful Nation Report, into the uses of uh, mindfulness in education, health, prisons and the workplace, and it's been well received by government. After Brexit negotiations have been concluded, when she might need to de-stress, <laughs> will she meet with representatives of uh, our cross-party group and senior scientists to look at what, what more can be done with mindfulness to uh, reduce human suffering and to promote human flourishing? Yeah. Can I, can I thank the honourable gentleman for raising this important issue, and also thank not just him but the mindfulness uh, APBG for the work that they've done uh, and their recent report. And uh, obviously, he knows that mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is recommended for use by nice. Uh, uh, for adults with depression, for adults with depression. But I, I, I notice the, the uh, I recognise the training that has gone into staff. I recently, well, some weeks ago, had an individual from my constituency come into my surgery to talk about mindfulness, and the member of my parliamentary staff I had with me had actually undertaken the training and was therefore able to speak about the, uh, the impact that that had had. So, the commissioning of psychological therapies is a matter for NHS England, but I'll ensure that they are aware of this report. The gentleman is obviously a beneficiary of mindfulness himself. He seems a very calm and phlegmatic fellow these days, which wasn't always the case in the past. We're very grateful to the Honourable Gentleman. George Freeman. 